Hi guys. Today we will analyze Best Buy stock and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis In the past year the stock was an average performer in the market. The medium term picture is unclear, although there are some positive events in recent action. The short term trend is positive, while the long term trend is neutral. Support level is around $99.50. Next support levels are around $95 and $90. Resistance level is around $110. Next resistance level is around $122. In the last month the stock has been trading between $85 and $112 range, which is wide. It is currently trading near the high of this range. It may be a good idea to wait for a pullback before considering an entry. The stock has an average volume of 3.2 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Volume is considerably higher in the last couple of days, which is what you like to see during a strong movement up. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model, using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5 year average PE ratio and expected growth rate. First model. Discounted free cash flow valuation This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 6% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 4% per year, for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 135% per year for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for Best Buy Company, Bad, Average, and Good. First Scenario. Best Buy will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 4%. Future profit margin would be low, 3%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 80%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $76. Second scenario. Best Buy will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 6%. Future profit margin would be average, 4%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 110%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $142. Third scenario. Best Buy will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 8%. Future profit margin would be high, 5%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 140%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $236. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 9.84. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For Best Buy, analysts forecast growth rate around 6% per year in next 5 years, and future PE around 12. Again, I will use three different scenarios for Best Buy Company, Bad, Average, and Good. First Scenario. Best Buy will have bad performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 4%. Future PE would be low, 10. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $51. Second Scenario. Best Buy will have average performance in next five years 
and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be average, 6%. Future PE would be average, 14. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $84. Third scenario. Best Buy will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 8%. Future PE would be high, 18. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $128. As you can see, today the stock is fairly valued, $105, if we expect the company's high performance in future. The fundamentals are good, and the stock is fairly priced. But keep in mind that in the coming 5 years, the revenue will grow only by 6% yearly. Do not expect high growth. I like the stock and I own it, I'll buy more when the stock drops below $90. Company Strengths Best Buy is a leading retailer of consumer electronics, it operates 991 stores in the US and 168 stores in other countries. Best Buy's online capabilities and curbside service are helping the company through the COVID-19 crisis. Management has taken a methodical approach to rescuing the company by reducing costs, divesting unproductive businesses, creating in-store shops for Apple and other key vendors, matching Amazon prices to stay competitive, and adopting more effective marketing and operating practices. The company is moving aggressively to be a destination for products in the smart home monitoring systems, fitness equipment, and modules to control lights, thermostats and enabled appliances from a remote location. The company's return on assets of 13% and return on equity of 62% are amongst the best of the industry. Best Buy's profit margin of 5% is in line with the rest of the industry. The stock's dividend yield, 3.32% is a higher than the industry average and the dividend is nicely growing with an annual growth rate of 18%. Its payout ratio is 25%, the dividend is well covered by earnings. Risks Best Buy faces three major challenges apart from COVID-19, intense competition from online and big box retailers, Home Depot, Lowe's, Circuit City, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Apple, product innovation that is consolidating music, video, computing, communications, gaming, and photography products into a small number of devices, like smartphones and tablets, which often carry low margins, and a slowdown in the smartphone market. Best Buy is likely to see pressure from Costco, Sam's Club and BJ's as the warehouse clubs sell more electronics. Best Buy could fail to recapture on volume the ongoing decline in the average selling price of products such as computers and televisions. New products are also forcing the company to rethink the usage of store space and promotions. On a macro level, sluggish personal income growth could reduce the willingness and ability of Best Buy's customers to make largely discretionary purchases. Tight credit conditions could also constrain spending. The company is expected to show a small growth in revenue. In the coming five years, the revenue will grow only by 6% yearly. Best Buy is expected to show a small growth in earnings per share. In the coming five years, the EPS will grow only by 5% yearly. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.